dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. That's it. And think abs right back to your low spine, stretching through the body and flexion again to the inside. Little flexion here. That's it. That's it. Good, Patty. Very nice. Very nice. Good. We've come to sitting trot and from your sitting trot right up into canter. Good. Nice transition. Good. And take the reins again. Just a touch shorter. Watch your curb doesn't get too long. Uh, too, yeah, too short, sorry. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Good. Good. So now, now come back and collect him for a couple steps. And then as you collect, soften in the hands. That's it. Very good. Pat him with the outside hand. Good. Good. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Good. And come back again. For me, I really like the fact that you can pat him and he doesn't change at all in the neck. Very good. And as you do that, you really want to feel like you've got complete control through the seat. Lovely. Good. And go straight down the long side. And on the long side, directly into a shoulder in, balancing that shoulder in, feeling the line on the outside of your body. That describes the structure of the line. Then you get the bend to the inside. So come again down the long side and from the outside hip to the outside shoulder to the bit on the outside. Keep that line good with your body. Tiny little counter flexion. Just support him a little bit more through the neck. That's it. So if he gets a little irregular there in the neck or the, the, the carriage goes a little bit up and down, go ahead and, yeah, make him connect to the outside rein. Exactly like that. And go back again. And a little shoulder in. Again, think of each corner. That's it. Let's do a 10 meter circle right here. Yeah, and as you start the 10 meter circle, bring the energy forward. So back to a shoulder in. Yeah, snaffle range shorter again, curb staying a little bit longer. That's it. And right back to a 10 meter circle. As you start the circle, think a little bit forward. That's it, then into your half halt. So ride forward energy into a half halt. And again, a little shoulder in. Yeah, good. Come down the second quarter line. and shoulder in on the second quarter line. Good. Now feel as though you capture him with your upper body. Bring the left shoulder back towards his inside hip and just go over. Good. And back to shoulder in. Good. Good. Let's come again. Go down the quarter line again, Viv. And just work through the positioning of your body. Okay. When you're ready to go into a half pass, bring the left shoulder back. Good, lovely, go back to shoulder in. Very good, look in the mirror as you do it. And again, back to your half pass. Super, super. And track again to the right. Sorry, I got you kind of deep in the corner there. Change rein across the diagonal. You're gonna do a little leg yielding over towards me. Both hands low and steady. Make him wait, slow him down. Make him wait and flying change. Yeah, good, half halt again. Good. Using both corners in the second corner, do a 10 meter circle. Staying very good through your position. I like this a lot. Good. Curve him around the inside a little bit more. That's nice. And let's take him to a shoulder in down the long side. As you come into the shoulder in, your thoughts go to, I've got to get the inside hind leg under my seat. Tiny little counter flexion. Think a bit forward and a 10 meter circle. Bring him up to the energy of it. Nice, good. Okay, as you're going, I'm liking the steadiness. He's getting more steady. He's getting more through. And go back to your shoulder in. And in the shoulder in, keep, keep touching into the, yeah, good, good. And let's already come down the second quarter line. And from the second quarter line, again, your shoulder in, holding the shoulder in, lovely. And through the positioning of your body, bring him over in a half pass, just steady. Bring that right shoulder back, just, and only as much as you need it. Yeah, 
Arms back to shoulder in. Let's next time come for, to the left again. We'll do the same exercise again. This time when you do it, make him go more sideways. So feel, keep that right hand right down by the withers. Don't let him get too long yet. Now I would go leg yield back to the right. You, think, you see why? Because he came a little bit too much with the, the, that's it. Super, good. Track again to the left. Viv, did that feel better? Yes, okay, good. Let's do it one more time. And you play with the feeling of it. As soon as he feels like he's, he drops into the... Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top-seated international dressage trainers, writers, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online, while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects.